Hello, my name is Sarah with the Ormond Beach Regional Library. And today on this episode of Volusia Gets Crafty, I'm going to talk to you about what supplies you need to get started crocheting. So when you walk into a craft store, or even Walmart carries yarn, you're going to be a little overwhelmed by the amount of yarn to choose from. There's a lot of different colors and thicknesses. My suggestion is to start with something that says value or super saver on the label, because that's going to be less expensive and less of an investment when you're first starting out. I'm also going to suggest that you start with a lighter color. The lighter colors allow you to see your stitches better. So try to stick away from the dark navy blues, the Kelly greens, definitely don't go black, go with a nice light color. Also, try to stick to solid colors. You're gonna see a lot of really pretty variegated tweeds. You're gonna see stripes. Go with the solid because once again, you're gonna see your stitches better. When you start crocheting, you'll notice that your yarn comes off in two places. There's one that winds around the yarn, and then there's one that comes out the end. And you can start with either one, whichever works best for you. The next thing you're gonna need is a crochet hook. And you'll see that the crochet hooks have numbers on them. These are going to match the numbers on the label of the yarn that you choose. And if you look on the back of the, the yarn label, right in the middle, there's a picture of a crochet hook. And it'll have the numbers that you need. 5.5 millimeter, and that's what's on this hook. So you just want the crochet hook to match the yarn. I like to use this aluminum hook. Um, it has a nice weight to it. It's relatively inexpensive, and it's a good investment for when you're just starting. There's also um, different kinds of heads that you can get. I like the ones with the rounded head. It's less likely to split your yarn. And when you're first starting off, that's something you can have troubles with. But you choose whichever one is best for you. You're going to need a nice sharp pair of scissors. This right here is called a stitch marker. You don't need it. You might see them at the crochet store, at the craft store. Um, it helps you keep track of where you begin and end rows. So it might be something you might want to pick up at some point in time. And then here, these are really important. These are darning needles. They usually come in a set like this. Uh, but you're going to use them to sew in the ends when you're done with the project. You'll have little tails coming off of your, your project, and you're going to use these to sew those in. So those are some of the basic things that you'll need to get started crocheting. I want to thank you for watching the video today. If you have any additional questions, please comment below. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.